Hi Hope Kids and Jam friends! If I had the power to do anything in the world, I would get rid of allergies and make animals talk. What would you do if you had unlimited power? Jesus is a God of power and glory. He has limitless power and could have done anything he wanted to. But instead of using his power to show off or make himself famous, he chose to use his power to save people from sin. Say it with me, Jesus is the Savior. Jesus could have easily become a famous king or the most popular person on earth, but that's not why he came to earth. He came to save people from sin and to teach us how to live a life that pleases God and so that we can have a forever friendship with God. During Jesus' ministry, many people wanted to see Jesus. Can you imagine thousands of people crowding around Jesus to hear him speak and do miracles? Jesus and his disciples had been very busy, so they were very tired. They needed to rest, but so many people were coming and going and they couldn't even rest or even eat. Jesus knew his disciples needed some rest, so he told them to come with him. They crossed the Sea of Galilee and went up the mountain to find a quiet place far from any city. But thousands of people still follow them. They were still not able to rest. You know, when I am tired, I get cranky, annoyed, and even angry. But instead of being angry or annoyed because the people wouldn't let Jesus rest, Jesus still cared for the people. He knew they needed help, so he began teaching them again. He taught for a pretty long time. Finally, the disciples came to Jesus and told him it was late and the people were hungry. Jesus told the disciples to give them something to eat. Perhaps the disciples quickly talked together to figure out how to do this. Let's imagine what they might have said. Look at all these people. There are at least 5,000 men here, plus women and children. How are we supposed to feed all of them? They don't have food and we don't have food to give them. All we have are five loaves of bread and two fish that a boy brought with him. Well, we can't buy food for them, that's for sure. Even if someone worked hard for 200 days, they still wouldn't earn enough money to feed all of them. Even if we did have enough money, there's nowhere to buy all that food. Let's tell Jesus this is impossible. Jesus already knew this was impossible for the disciples. He already had a plan to provide for the people. He asked the disciples to do something impossible because he wanted them to learn to trust him as Lord and Savior. In the same way, God wants you to trust him for everything. So Jesus took the five loaves and two fish, looked up to heaven, thanked God for the food that they did have, and began to divide it up for the people. But wait a minute, how many people do they need to feed? Thousands. Five loaves and two fish certainly wasn't enough to feed this huge hungry crowd of over 5,000. But Jesus told the disciples to give the food to the people. As the disciples handed out the food, the food didn't run out. They continued to pass out food while everyone ate until they were all full. Then Jesus told the disciples to gather the leftovers. There was enough leftover to food to fill 12 baskets. Jesus fed thousands of people and they ended up with way more food than they started with. Jesus did a miracle. Remember, Jesus can do this because he is God and he has the same power as God the Father. When the people witnessed this, they thought if Jesus could do this miracle, he could also fix all the problems in their country. They wanted to force Jesus to be king. They wanted to be saved from the problems of their, in their country. But Jesus had come to save them from their biggest problem of all their own sins. Instead of focusing on their own sin, the people just wanted Jesus to fix everything, all their problems in their lives. But Jesus knew it was not God's plan for him to take over the government. He and the disciples went away from the people so they couldn't try to force Jesus to be king. The next day, the crowd noticed Jesus was gone and they began searching for him. They found Jesus in Capernaum and hoped he would continue to feed them. Instead, Jesus told them amazing things about himself to help them understand that he was the one who could give them what they really needed to be saved from sin. Just like this event that happened in the Bible, Jesus, provided for, Jesus provides for us because he cares for us. But also, Jesus is always there, ready to save you from sin when you accept him as your savior.